Good morning, welcome to Children's Time. I'm glad that you could be here this morning. Today, we're talking about temptation. And I'm wondering if you know what temptation is. This, for me, is not temptation. It's a head of broccoli. And <clears throat> I'm not tempted at all to eat that. I'll, I'll eat it. Maybe you'll eat it. I don't think it's horrible, but it's not my favorite thing. So here's one of my kind of favorite snacks. These are cashew parts, halves. And I like cashews probably more than any sort of nut, even peanuts. And I keep some of these around and I snack on them. I like them better than I like the broccoli. And, uh, but I'm not too tempted by these. It's just something that I eat when um, I feel like I need a snack. So this is yet another thing that I eat. This is a, a honey, oats and honey granola bar. And particularly the Nature's Valley one. It's another thing, kind of like the cashews, this is a snack for me, and um, I like them, but I'm not tempted by it. I, I wouldn't choose this if there was something better, and I wouldn't want to try to hide this in order for me to get it and for you not to. That's Temptation kind of does that. Um, sometimes I, when, I, when there's food that I really like, I have this thought that I don't want to share it, and I want to have all of that for myself. I wonder if you've ever thought that about maybe food or toys or uh, your favorite games or things like that. So here is what I'm tempted by. This is, I'm gonna set down my tray for a minute. This is an unopened package of Oreos, golden, and their double stuff. This is my all-time favorite store-bought cookie. And if you haven't had golden Oreos, oh, I envy you the first time you put one of those delicacies in your mouth. Oh, it's wonderful. This is tempting to me, which means I will ignore what I need to do and should do sometimes, like broccoli, I'll ignore that because I'm so tempted by this. Not so much by the granola bar, not so much by the cashews, but by this. I wonder what you're tempted by. The story today is a story of Joseph who was sold into slavery by his brothers that just hated his guts. And he finds himself in a pretty good situation, considering that he's enslaved. He's sold to uh, a man named Potiphar. And Potiphar ends up trusting Joseph in lots and lots of ways. And there's this time when Potiphar's wife wants Joseph to do something that Joseph knows is wrong. And yet, it's got to be tempting. So what Potiphar's wife is offering is something along the lines of golden double stuff Oreos. But Joseph knows that he needs to not eat those Oreos, that that's gonna be um, a bad thing. <clears throat> So this is a picture of temptation, and I wonder what tempts you. What God promises is that when we're tempted, that God will help us overcome the temptation and do what's best, particularly for the kingdom of God, for other people, and certainly for ourselves. So it's okay to have some dessert, it's okay to eat some Oreos, but it's not okay if I only eat Oreos and I never eat broccoli, right? 
it might not hurt you if I do that, but it'll hurt me. So temptation is just a part of who we are. And God promises to help us in the midst of temptation, even when it's a very difficult thing. So <clears throat> I want you to pray with me as I hold the thing that tempts me most. And I want you to think about what might tempt you the most. And if you happen to be in the house and you have something that's really tempting to you, I encourage you to pause this video, go and get it, and let's hold those temptation things as we pray, okay? So pause now if you're gonna pause, otherwise let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the things that are wonderful in this world. We give you thanks for our families and our friends. And we give you thanks that you walk with us. Help us when we're tempted to overcome temptation and make a different and better choice. We love you. We trust you. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. And all God's children said, Amen. Okay, so <clears throat> if we were really doing children's time here in the sanctuary um, and we were done with COVID, you would be sitting up here with me. And so I would open up these golden Oreos, right? And I would offer you some, a brand new package of golden Oreos. Oh, and do you see that? Somebody's already gotten into these Oreos. Margo, did you open these Oreos? Sorry, I gotta go. This was for children's time. It wasn't supposed to be.